that's why I'm here today to share my truth. And the best way I know how to speak truth is through my poetry. Okay, I've got six poems for you today. Um, I'm probably gonna do a lot of that. I'm probably gonna do a lot of deep breathing in between. Um, I won't do too much introduction of each poem. I'm just gonna let them speak for themselves. And uh, I ask that you, and I'm gonna do this too, just pay attention to what happens in your body as you receive these words. Um, they might be different than the typical narrative adoption. And so I just ask that you remain open and attentive to how the words land in you. Okay. This first poem is titled, Feral. I won't run. The promise slides between my teeth. But the truth is, I'm always a flight risk. I never learned how to stay. My heart takes leave, frequently protecting itself in the tempting myth that I don't need love or anything disappearing into the night like a cat that can't decide if it wants in or out. <laughs> that poem still remains, like there's a lot of truth in that poem, wow. Ask any of my relationships. <sighs> okay, this next poem is titled Hunger. Um, adoptees are disproportionately affected by uh, mental health issues such as eating disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, addiction issues, um, and I am no exception to that. And currently I am in a relapse uh, from my eating disorder that I struggled with when I was a child and teenager. And um, I am on my way to seeking care. I'll be entering a residential treatment facility in next week. Um, and this poem is a glimpse into what that feels like to be in the body of someone who just is so overcome with grief, they can't eat. Hunger. There's a story held in the visibility of my rib cage, the sinew of my legs, the light between my thighs, and the hollow spaces of my collarbones. Grief devouring me from the inside out. A small part of me cackles with delight that my body is such a descriptive storyteller. So I don't have to use my words to tell you that I'm afraid. My heart doesn't work quite right. It's healing all crooked. All the bandages and glue in the world can't fix this. Empty is the same as full. Right after my birth mother died, I dropped a tremendous amount of weight very rapidly. Um, and I didn't think of it as an eating disorder relapse because it just felt like grief. Uh, but what I'm learning as I, as I share myself and as I shared myself through my poetry over the past few years is that if I'm too full of story and I'm too full of words that I'm afraid to share, then there's no room for anything else, including food. And, you know, there's this like, stereotype of the angry adoptee. And <laughs> again, I fit into that category um, and I'm smiling because anger is uncomfortable and rage is uncomfortable and people don't want to hold it, uh, including myself, but it has to come out and it needs space. Um, and this next poem is a reflection of that. It's titled, Estranged. You say that you want to understand me, but when I tell you about my pain, pull out the tender bloody bits. You shake your head and tell me I've got it all wrong, gaslighting me all along. 
made to believe that my reality doesn't belong in the story of my adoption. My only wish is to belong to myself. You've made me your whole world. Your sense of self hinged on my validation. You want me to fill a void that is not my grave to tend. You want me to call you mother, savior, be grateful for your sacrifice. But I didn't ask to be engulfed in your ocean. I am my own life raft. And now I'm tapping into what's usually underneath rage, which is intense hurt and pain and sadness. And this next poem is a reflection of that. It's titled, Deep Well. Adoption is the only trauma that people are expected to be grateful for. Aren't you so lucky? Aren't you so glad that you're not with those monsters anymore? Confusing ancestry for destruction, pain for character defects, convinced that I descended from heroin and cocaine, unable to see the beauty in my mother's name, feeling only anger in the cracked ribs of abandonment, my mouth clanging from the metallic taste of truth. None of us are perfect. And that deep well of sadness is the truest thing about me. Okay, this next poem is titled, Let Me Be Water. Want is a fickle mistress, fluid as water, ever rippling, ever cresting, creating dips and flips in my desire. I want this. No, I want that. No, wait, I don't know. Water doesn't have to decide. It holds it all from the foam and spray dancing at the surface to the silt and sediment that has filtered to the depths. No wonder I've always loved the ocean. She doesn't ask me to choose. That might not seem directly related to adoption, but I know for myself and the other adoptees that I have in my community, that's a feeling that we often experience this, um, this in urgency from either side, the birth family or the adoptive family to choose or to only pick one. And um, it's just not fair. All right, and our final poem for today, a way to lift us up out of like how how do we as adoptees move forward with all the sadness and this rage and um this next poem is titled instructions for joy hush now my sweet child you hold all the love you need within your ragged beating heart people will come and they will go do not let the leaving turn you into stone. Some will hurt you. Some will help you grow. They are not different. Compassion can only help you. So lift your chin, crack open your ribs and let the light within you glow with the knowledge of pulsing hope. There is always warmth to be found within the cold. Find the eyes that help you see. You are never truly alone. Healing is found within we. Okay. <sighs> Thank you so much for attending this conference for today, for showing up for me today, for listening and receiving my words and my heart. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, 
you'll notice if you clink, clink, <laughs> click on the link um, in my bio, there's, uh, if you enjoyed any of these poems today, you can purchase prints uh, that were created by my beautiful soul friend and fellow artist, Anika Zebron. She um, made art in response to my poetry and um, it's a beautiful collaboration. So if you'd like these words and some art up on your wall, you can find those for sale. Um, also, if you feel inclined, I've got a GoFundMe link uh, to help fundraise for my treatment for my eating disorder treatment. Um, and I've got a couple of uh, essays and articles up there if you wanna see more of my work. Um, but all right, that's it. Thank you so much.